beekeeping video for you. And sad to say, this is not my original idea, but how to store it is. And I want to give a tip to, there we go, my fellow beekeepers. You're going to need something to go in your smoker, all right? You're going to need something to light your smoker. Paper towel, newspaper, cardboard, burlap, you pick. All right? But then you need to build a fire. And you're trying to get to the point where you have coals that smolder and smoke. Cold smoke, not hot smoke. So, anyway, one of my fellow Houston beekeepers suggested using um, bedding from Tractor Supply Company. He couldn't remember what the price was, so I saved my receipt. Five dollars and ninety-nine cents for this giant bag or bale of flake premium pine shavings and a forty-pound bag of pellets for five ninety-nine. Okay, that's a heck of a deal. Uh, this will last me at least a year. But where do you keep it? Certainly not in the bag, because that is a hot mess looking for a victim. But if you go to Walmart, or you just happen to have some trash cans from Walmart, you can get inexpensive trash cans that are about the same size. And so that is my contribution, is I recommend using trash cans to store your fuel in. Now, this isn't going to work great for you if you've got 400 hives and you're traveling all over the place. You need bins at that point. But if you're just an urban beekeeper with one, two, three, four, maybe five beehives in your backyard, you need somewhere to keep your smoker fuel that critters ain't going to get into it and it's going to stay dry because wet fuel doesn't burn either. So, here we go. And I want to show you what this looks like. So it's just extruded sawdust, sort of like Duraflame in miniature form. I think you would use this for rabbits, but there's no telling. So, there's 40 pounds of it. It absolutely fits in, you know, a 13-gallon trash can. So, we'll just hoist that over there. Now, this is going to be a little trickier because, quite frankly, it's about the same size. And I don't think it's going to stay the same size when it goes in there. But, we're going to try it anyway because, you know, you only live once. You might as well live dangerously. And I want to give a shout out to, of course, my friends, my Houston Beekeepers Association members. You guys rock. I'm very grateful for all the knowledge I've gotten. I'm also particularly fond of some of my fellow YouTubers. Barnyard Bees has got a lot of really interesting stuff. And um, he's probably the guy I rocks the most. There are some other folks. I'm not going to call them out right now. Oh, yeah, this is going to be messy. real messy. Now, if you ever wondered what MDF is made out of, I think you're looking at it. And this might be a five-year supply of this stuff. So when you get to that level, it might be a good idea to go in on this with somebody. Because this looks like it's going to decompress to about three times its size. I don't even think half this bale is going to come out of here and fill that up. So 
this is definitely your stage two material for starting a smoker fire. Good enough. So I got a full 13 gallon trash can and I, I, I really honestly haven't taken more than eight inches of material out of this. So I've used a dollar fifty of material. It's gonna last a while. So that's all there is to that. But I still think this is a better way to keep this stuff. So your mileage may vary. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Have a great day.